Welcome back to Magnum Madness. We are going on to the second round, and we're doing a video that uh, probably no one has ever done between these cartridges. On the left is the 243 Winchester, and on the right is the 257 Weatherby Magnum. And yes, this is very much an apples to oranges comparison, uh, but you the viewers chose these two cartridges to move on and so here we are we're going to go ahead and look at the history of these cartridges how they compare to each other and uh, you guys get to pick which one's going to move on in 1955 winchester introduced the 243 winchester and what this cartridge is is a 308 case neck down to six millimeter and a lot of people say this is a very good varmint to deer cartridge. And so it has some versatility to it. Most bullets will range that you can shoot into 243 range from 55 grain up to 100, 105 grain bullets. And uh, they all shoot them, you know, 55 grain up to 100 grain, well over 3,000 feet per second. So while a lot of you probably won't consider this a magnum, uh, it does have Magnum-like velocities with all of its bullets. Uh, this was actually the very first cartridge I ever hunted with is a 243 Winchester for deer. Uh, some of the pros for this cartridge is that it has very mild recoil, extremely mild. Uh, it's a great cartridge for kids and women and it's just a darn good deer cartridge that is extremely popular back east. And uh, yeah, it has plenty of power for deer. Let's talk about some of the drawbacks with the 243 Winchester. Uh, I think foremost is that anything bigger than a deer, it's going to struggle. Uh, I definitely wouldn't recommend this for elk, moose, uh, but anything basically mule deer and smaller, it's great. So the versatility is limited, but again, you're getting a very mild recoil and very good velocities out of this cartridge. Real quickly, I just wanted to show you some of the load data for the 243 Winchester. This is in the Nosler book with a partition or a ballistic tip, 195 to 100 grain bullet, you can handle this uh, to over 3,100 feet per second. And when you get those kind of velocities in that bullet, it has a very respectable energy out of the muzzle of around 2,000 foot pounds. Real quick, here's the 243 Winchester Ballistics with a 100 grain partition. If you're getting it at 3,100 feet per second, your energy is going to be at 2,100 foot pounds. So again, around 2,000. This one's a little more. So, and out to i don't know 300 yards your energy is 1200 foot pounds so again i think this is a great cartridge out to 300 to 350 yards for deer uh, you're still going to be over a thousand foot pounds so there it is around 1944 roy started making a bunch of his wildcat cartridges this is his personal favorite the 257 Weatherby Magnum. It shoots a 257 diameter bullet and it is really fast. So it shoots range, bullets range from oh, probably 85 grain up to 120 grain. And even the 120 grain bullets are going to be going 30, at least 3,300 feet per second. So it is a burner. Uh, and true, it might also be a barrel burner as well, but it's, it's a darn good cartridge that, well, it definitely could be a varmint cartridge, probably not an ideal varmint cartridge, but it is a very good deer cartridge. And I know a lot of people have taken bigger game like elk with it. I think it would also be a very good black bear cartridge. So on versatility wise, I do see it being a bit more versatile than the 243 Winchester. Let's talk the pros and cons for the 257 Weatherby Magnum. I think the biggest pro for this cartridge 
is just how flat it shoots. Uh, a very popular bullet selection for this is the 100 grain TTSX Barnes bullet. And Weatherby does factory ammo for it that it's going almost 3,600 feet per second. And so you can imagine just how flat uh, it is out to 400 yards. It's pretty incredible. And another bonus is that this thing is pretty darn powerful for such a small bullet. We'll talk, go into it a little bit more, but it matches and exceeds some of the more popular bigger calibers. Uh, let's talk about some of the downsides to this cartridge. Well, I think the bullet selection is a little bit of a downside. Again, you're shooting probably from 85 grain to max 120 grain with a 1 in 10 twist barrel, which all of these come in in a 1 in 10 twist. And it's definitely powerful enough for deer and, like I said, black bear, but it's not my first choice for elk or moose or anything bigger than that. Uh, I mean, it definitely has the speed, but you're still shooting a pretty darn small bullet. Uh, lastly is it's it's going fast so your your barrel life is going to be a bit shorter than other cartridges let's now look at the ballistics for the 257 weatherby mag i am on the weatherby website this is all of their factory ammo for the 257 weatherby and as i said one of the more popular bullets to use is a 100 grain ttsx and a muzzle velocity of almost 3600 feet per second and you can get bigger bullets. Uh, I think a popular hunting bullet would be the 110 grain Acubon going 3460. Let's go ahead and see what kind of energy you're going to get. And as remember, as I said, that this cartridge beats out some of the bigger and more popular hunting cartridges. Let me just show you. Okay. Your energy at the muzzle is going to range anywhere from 2,800 to mid-2,900 foot-pounds of energy. That beats the 270 Winchester and the 308 Winchester. That's really awesome. Okay. Now, your range uh, gets to be extended quite a bit compared to the 243 Winchester because of how fast it's going. So, I mean, even out to 500 yards, now that's a really long shot on deer, but you still have plenty of energy for that. All right, before I let you guys go, uh, I just wanted to go over how I would pick them and rate them uh, in certain categories. So that's what I'm going to show you. So, recoil-wise, now if recoil is important... Uh, both of these aren't really that bad, but the 243 definitely has much lighter recoil. Power-wise, well, both of these are pretty powerful, but one is much more powerful than the other. Uh, so the 257 Weatherby wins on that one. As a varmint cartridge, both of these are definitely varmint cartridges. I think the 257 just has probably a little too much recoil. Uh, but so I'd have to give the win to the 243 Winchester as a varmint cartridge as a big game cartridge uh, Both of these have their limitations, you know, I personally wouldn't Use either of these for big game like elk or moose but the 257 Weatherby definitely uh, Is a better big game cartridge fun factor This one's pretty important to me uh, well, I think the 243 is fun. You know, you can get some really high velocities in those small bullets, like the 55 grain bullet. I would say the 257 would be more of a fun uh, cartridge for me personally. Lastly, cost. For some of you, this is the most important. And so I'd have to give it to the 243 Winchester. The ammo is just much cheaper. But if you hand load, uh, the difference isn't that much with hand loading both of these. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to comment below on which one you'd like to see move on. Do you want to see the 243 or the 257?